So the answer. <laughs> okay. And then. Yeah, right. So one more. Okay. Then the next one, number two. He applied to study in the U.S. university. So the university says. Okay. So also in the U.S. when you apply for to get into university, number one you need good grades. But good grades is not enough. Many Chinese and Indians have very high grade, like perfect, A A A A, and in the admission exam, very high, perfect. But they don't get to Harvard, Princeton, Yale, MIT. Why? Why do you think? Why? Many Chinese and Indian genius, perfect grade. It's so uh, to get the GRE graduate record exam, to get the TOEFL, everything. Why don't they get to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Columbia, New York University, Caltech, Stanford, Berkeley? Yeah, if you only have high score, do nothing else, they will not want you. So what should you do to get to good university, even if you don't have perfect grade? Or maybe you have perfect grade. What should you do? Yeah, yeah, you have to sign up for leadership conference and you should write, for example, you know how to play piano, you should say, write, I have piano experience and playing. It's important. They do not want only good grades. You have to show you do other things. If you want to go to engineering, show you can do engineering and other things. So many Chinese who are very good do not come to the best schools because they don't show. You have to write one down when you come, right? Why are you coming? You have to show you have all different experiences. And use the word leadership. You have to use the word leadership. For example, you join ping pong group. They say I'm leadership in sports because I joined and had the group ping pong uh, competition, let's say in Shenzhen. So they said, ah, good leadership quality. Anything, or I join swimming competition. Okay, or I can, I join cooking contest on television. I won second place, anything. And some people, have you seen the movie Legally Blonde? Legally Blonde. She's a woman, blonde hair, blue eyes, and she likes everything pink, okay? So she didn't have good grades. She wanted to go to Harvard because her boyfriend goes to Harvard. You've seen that movie? Lawyer. Lawyer, yeah, to be a lawyer. So she likes little cute French dogs. She likes everything beautiful, but she doesn't know law. And she did practice, so they interview her. Okay, what do you want to do when you become lawyer? So she gave an answer, not standard answer. I don't know what, something like, I want to change the world. And maybe, I don't know what, by using my woman power and using pink color, something like that. I can convince people that we can change the world. And they accepted her, you know? So they don't want all just one way of thinking. They want you to think another way when you go to university. Yeah, here in the U.S., not in the U.S. So think about, so who wants to come back to study in the U.S.? <laughs> Nobody, okay, it's good. China has a good education system, okay. Now there are two views of the role of leaders in history. 
I will ask you to choose. There are two. The first one said, people are the most important. If you have one person, anyone, it could be Thatcher of England, it could be Indira Gandhi of India, it could be Suharto or Sukarno of Indonesia, it could be Mao Zedong or Deng Xiaoping, but those people are so important. If you do not have those people, you will not change history. Those people are important. If you agree with that, stand here. That's one point of view. Okay, stand here if you agree. Specific people are important. Okay, and it's right there. Second point of view. No, people are not important. People are not important. It's the situation. And in a given situation, for example, it's revolutionary situation, anyone can come up. It can be anyone. Someone will be Mao Zedong or Deng Xiaoping or whoever. And if there's no Mao Zedong or Deng Xiaoping, somebody else will come. It's not the person that's important. Uh, it's the situation. And then you will create people, whoever they are. So people are not the most important. You have to look at the structure of society. You have to stand here. Choose. You have to choose. Stand up. This or that. Idealist or materialist point of view. Uh, this is, yeah, one thing is most important. That one is people, specific people. You have to stand up, no sit down. Choose, you have to choose. And then you have to say why you are right, the other side is wrong, and you will debate. Choose one. Number one, it's the specific people who are important. It has to be Mao Zedong or Deng Xiaoping. Number two, no, even if you don't have Mao Zedong or Deng Xiaoping, somebody will come. It's the situation that will give rise to these people. Choose one. Okay. Choose. You cannot sit down. The answer is on the paper. Okay. This one? You can move around. They're on this paper. You can see. It's right here. You can read. Number one is specific people. One is people, two is the situation. Okay, it's okay, it's not number. Few does not mean good or bad. Different point of view. Okay, now you have to say why you think you are correct, why they are wrong. Why you are correct and why they are wrong. You'll say why you are correct and why they are wrong. Five minutes. How long is it? Five minutes you uh, discuss the good points that you have and bad points they have. As a group. Discuss as a group. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay, discuss. <laughs> you have to discuss. <laughs> oh, you're changing? It's okay. You can change. Four minutes.
Once you're right, why you are right and why you are wrong? Oh, you have paper. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to write down? Yes, yes, yeah, right. You can remember? Just write down your answer. Why you are correct and why they are wrong.